Rick Harvey. I'm faculty in the Holistic Health Studies program at San Francisco State University. Today I'm going to share an activity, an exercise that I do and use in all of my classes related to values clarification. You may hit pause at any time in order to replay or listen to all of the instructions as we move forward. Right now, if you would, please get out a sheet of paper and a pencil or pen so that you can write 10 items on a lined sheet of paper, for example. Write vertically the numbers 1 through 10. Now that you've written the numbers 1 through 10 vertically, I'm going to give you some directive instructions. The instructions will be rapid. I'm going to ask you to very, very quickly, in brief periods of time, to write certain things or do certain things in rapid succession. Presently, please write the 10 most important things to you. Write down one per line. For example, it could be your telephone, your smartphone. It could be uh, peace, love, justice, God, friends, family, anything concrete, anything abstract, whatever those things are that are important to you. Please now, in the next one minute's time, write down the 10 most important things to you. Go. Some of you may have gotten stuck. You have seven things on your list. In this exercise, it has to be 10, no more, no less. For example, if you wrote down the word family and you have six items and there are four people in your family, separate out uh, your mom, your dad, your brothers, sisters, something along those lines. It has to be a list of 10 items in order for the activity to work well. Now that you've written down 10 of the most important things to you, concrete or abstract, I'm going to ask you to do something challenging. In the next 10 seconds, what I'd like you to do is cross off three of the 10 most important things on your list. Go! 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, come on, just do it! 3, 2, 1 and 3 quarters, 1 and a half, 1 and a quarter, just cross them off. All right. If you are alone, write a note about why you crossed off three of the ten most important things to you. If you're in a group or with others, explain to at least one other person why you crossed off those three items. Please go ahead and explain why you crossed those off now. Hip -hop. Now that you've crossed off three of the ten most important things, I want to debrief. Can you explain to me why you crossed them off? Now that you've crossed off three of the most important things, I'd like you to explain to me about the process. Was it difficult? Was it easy? How was it for you to cross off those three items? What was it like? So please go ahead and explain to me or to your group mates what it was like crossing off those three items. Yes. Sometimes people find that the items that they crossed off are in some ways linked or replicated or duplicated in other items that are still on their list. That is to say, it was easiest to get rid of those three items because in some ways they weren't really gone. They were in some other fashion completed or included in the existing seven, remaining seven items on their list. What I want you to do now is something difficult. If you would, please cross off three more in the next 10 seconds. Go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, quickly, pull the trigger, two, one and three quarters, one and a half, one and a quarter, finish. Now, if you would, please explain what the process was like. How was it giving up three more of the ten most important things on your list? Please go ahead and explain this whole process of giving up important things that are in your life. Look at that. If you haven't guessed it, we're heading towards crossing off three more to leave the one most important thing go. You have 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Just pull the trigger, just do it. Just go ahead and get rid of some more. Three, two, one and three quarters, one and a half, one and a quarter, finish. If you would, please explain to yourself why you kept 
that one most important thing, or if we are in a group setting, I'm going to go around individually and call on each of you to identify that one most important thing that you kept on your list. There are two observations that I've made over more than a decade of this activity in classes. The first is that it's very rare, except for some individuals who are kidding or joking or speaking ironically, to state that something of a concrete nature, for example, their smartphone, one student said, my Ferrari. However, it's most likely, it's most common that people will say abstract or non-material things. Routinely, they'll say family was most important on their list, or God, or their health, or something that's not concrete in nature. It's very rare that anybody would value above all the other uh, important values that we have, something that's in the material world. As a final note, make sure that every decision that you make, you have a congruence between what you believe and your actions. Do I choose to binge watch a, a television show? Do I choose to eat an extra piece of, of pie? If what you're doing as an activity is inconsistent with the things that you value, you have an opportunity to raise the question, why? And as well, how can I move in a positive direction to honor or move in service to my greater goals, whatever they may be?